This is an American eel. It is sleek, familiar, and unsettling in the same harmless way a shadow in shallow water can be. This is a gulper eel, a creature so strange it barely fits the word eel at all. Its jaws unhinge like a collapsing tent, its stomach balloons into shapes no animal should make. Its whole body looks like something the deep sea stitched together out of spare parts. If both animals started from the same blueprint, what went so catastrophically wrong for one of them? Why did one stay normal, while the other became a deep sea parody of an eel shaped by darkness, pressure, and hunger? To understand what twisted the gulper eel into this shape, you first have to leave the world where regular eels live. Regular eels stick to rivers, coasts, and continental shelves, places where there is light, predators, and enough food to behave like a normal fish. The gulper eel, on the other hand, lives hundreds to thousands of meters below that. Most are found between 500 and 3,000 meters, where light never reaches and pressure climbs to levels that could crush submersibles. Down there, the rules change. Eyes stop being useful, muscles soften, bodies stretch, and predators become distortions of whatever they used to be. The gulper eel's jaw is the clearest proof that it abandoned the regular eel lifestyle long ago. A normal eel has a narrow skull with biting teeth. The gulper eel has something closer to a biological parachute. Its skull is made of thin, flexible bone plates connected by soft tissue, allowing the entire head to unfold into a massive scoop. When it opens its mouth, the head balloons into a wide, round chamber, capable of engulfing prey nearly half its size. No other eel does this. Only a few fish do. It is a feeding strategy, built not for elegance, but for effectiveness. In the deep sea, meals are rare. Missing one could mean death. So instead of precision hunting, the gulper eel simply swallows the opportunity, literally. Its stomach is built to match. Regular eels digest quickly, taking advantage of steady meals. Gulper eels might wait weeks between feedings. Their stomach must stretch to absurd proportions, able to deform around squid, fish, and anything else drifting from above. Researchers have filmed individuals with enormous, distended bellies, floating like balloons, slowly sinking back into the dark. This isn't a flaw, it's survival, turning unpredictability into strategy. Even the gulper eel's body shows how far it has drifted from its surface relatives. Regular eels are muscular, flexible swimmers, built for tight spaces and sudden bursts of speed. The gulper eel looks almost weightless. Its vertebrae are spaced farther apart, giving it a loose puppet-like motion. Its muscles are soft and minimal because in the deep sea, fast movement wastes energy. Instead, the gulper eel lets the water move around it, drifting like a half-formed creature waiting for a mistake to swim too close. Its eyes, too, reveal what the deep has taken away. Regular eels rely on sight to ambush prey. Gulper eels barely have eyes at all, just small black dots that detect faint light but reveal little. Vision simply is not worth maintaining where the sun cannot reach. The deep sea prefers animals that trade complexity for efficiency, something the gulper eel has done in every possible way. Yet for all of its distortions, the gulper eel is not broken. It is optimized for a world up to 3,000 meters below the surface. It looks strange because the deep sea forces animals to abandon anything that is not necessary for survival. If this eel made you realize the deep sea is basically nature's experiment lab, like and subscribe before something escapes the recycle bin. The deepest twist in the gulper eel's design is not its jaw or its stomach. It is the light it carries.
into the dark. At the very tip of its long whip-like tail sits a tiny glowing bulb. That bulb usually glows pink, sometimes red, and it is believed to be powered by bioluminescent bacteria. The gulper eel uses a lure that functions like a neon sign in a world made entirely of shadows. At depths from 1,000 to 3,000 meters, where even bioluminescent flashes fade quickly, a steady glow is irresistible to small fish and to drifting crustaceans. They approach slowly, drawn toward the soft color breaking the endless black. They never see the mouth waiting above. When the gulper eel senses movement near the lure, its body tightens. The jaw begins to unfurl. The entire head swings forward, expanding into that grotesque, parachute-like chamber. But what makes this strike terrifying is not just the size, it is the silence. There is no burst of speed, no violent chase, just a sudden unfurling in total darkness, like a trap door opening beneath an unsuspecting traveler. In one motion, the prey disappears into the ballooning cavern of the eel's mouth, and the deep sea closes around them, as if nothing happened at all. Researchers believe the gulper eel's anatomy hints at a very old evolutionary lineage, one shaped during a time when the deep sea was even less forgiving than it is today. Its skeletal arrangements, elastic tissues and tiny eyes all point toward a fish that abandoned the bright world long ago and has been refining its monstrous toolkit ever since. But what we don't know about gulper eels might be even more unsettling than what we do. They are rarely filmed alive. They are almost never caught intact. Much of what scientists understand comes from scattered videos and a handful of damaged specimens pulled up from the depths. Their reproductive habits remain mysterious. Their population size is unknown. Even their maximum length, currently estimated to be around 60 to 90 centimeters, is still debated. What we can say with confidence is this. The gulper eel stopped trying to be a normal eel the moment it descended into permanent night. Before we end, a few honorable mentions remind us that eels in general are never quite as peaceful as they look. The moray eel has a second set of jaws in its throat. Yes, like the creature from Alien, used to drag prey deeper into its mouth. The conger eel reaches over 10 feet long and launches strikes strong enough to dislocate a diver's fingers. The snake eel hides its entire body underground leaving only its head exposed like a biological landmine. The viper moray is built with needle-thin teeth that look suspiciously like something designed to puncture wetsuits. And lastly, the electric eel is not a true eel, but it is close enough to ruin your day because it releases up to 860 volts. And yet, None of them look like the gulper eel, because none of them live where the world collapses into black water and impossible pressure. If you enjoy watching evolution lose its mind in slow motion, feel free to like and subscribe. And when you're ready to see what real giants drag up from the abyss, watch the monster's sperm whales drag up from the deep.